Tansy, Tanacetum vulgar, is a perennial from the Asteraceae family. It grows wild in fields and meadows. It contains an essential oil consisting mainly of thujone and camphor. It blooms from July to September, and trimmed until frost. It grows in one place for many years and is resistant to low temperatures and frost. Tansy is a highly poisonous plant. Formerly, it was used as a spice and anthelmintic in the body. It should not be used even externally, because the amount of toxic thujone in plants is high and it is difficult to determine a non-toxic dose. We store dried fruit in tight vessels that are inaccessible to children. Avoid spraying tansy, useful plants that will be harvested within three weeks and that bear fruit, e.g. strawberries, blueberries, because tansy toxins can accumulate in them and reach our body. It is better to give up this spraying if the garden is used by children. Even though it is an ecological product, it is poisonous and care should be taken. We perform the treatment in protective clothing. Do not drink or eat while spraying. In the Trotta's common garden, we can use the entire plant, leaves and flowers. Before it blooms, we use only the leaves, we can also use it in the form of drought, throughout the season. Spraying this herb works on aphids and all vermin such as white fly, Colorado potato beetle, midge, earth fleas, ants, mosquitoes, ticks, caterpillars of harmful butterflies. It can be used in spring on trees and shrubs to destroy wintering pests such as spider mites and aphid eggs. For spraying, use 150 grams of fresh tansy, or 15 grams of dried, and pour 5 liters of boiling water over it. After cooling down and straining, the infusion is ready for use. Works for 7 days. We can also use the option boil a kilogram of fresh tansy or 100 grams of dried tansy in 10 liters of water. Strain and dilute 1, 2. We use 2 to 3 times a week on infested plants. The decoction should be stored in a closed container in the shade. Tansy manure will combat soil pests such as nematodes, wireworms, and grubs. Pour the cut plants with water, 1 kilogram per 10 liters. We mix the slurry every now and then. After two weeks it is ready when it stops foaming. Dilute it three times and water the dug up soil generously. You can also use proportions. 3 kg of fresh tansy or 300 grams of dried tansy per 10 liters of water. Make the slurry in a barrel with a lid so that no flies will fly. It should be used for spraying diluted or undiluted on mites or ground fleas. Spray the plants against aphids at a dilution of 1 to 15. We water the paths of ants and anthills without dilution, and we water the soil to combat grubs, nematodes and wireworms. We pour water over the dugout beds. If we want to make an extract, 300 grams of fresh tansy or 30 grams of dried fruit should be poured over with 10 liters of water. After 24 hours, dilute with water 1 to 2 and spray the plants. It works against onion cream, aphids, caterpillars, fruit, cotton, and blueberry. We also fight plant diseases with the extract, rust and powdery mildew. Tansy extract should be used in moderation, as it also destroys other soil organisms. The preparation should be used within two days. The rest can be turned into slurry. Infusion, 300 grams of fresh or 30 grams of dried pour over 10 liters of boiling water. Dilute it in the proportion of 1 to 2 and use it to fight the carrot, flower thrips. You can also make a decoction, 500 grams of ground herb or 75 grams of herbs pour 10 liters of water and leave for 24 hours. Then cook for 20 minutes. Diluted with water in a proportion of 1 to 5, use the decoction as a preventive measure and in the presence of greenhouse white fly, powdery mildew, fleas seedlings of cruciferous vegetables, flowers, and ants. On strawberries, it helps to fight mites and swelling mites. We can store the broth for three months if we pasteurize it in a jar for 20 minutes. If you have a problem with moths, put the dried flowers in a bag and hang it, the smell repels them as does mothballs. They also scare away moles, put the plant in a burrow. Its scent repels biting insects, including flies, thimbles, ticks, mosquitoes. 
Tansy spraying should be carried out on a dry, cloudy day or in the evening so as not to burn the plants. Thank you.